Hey guys, I am here with a new tag video. It is the five things I would cry <laughs> if they ever discontinued a tag. It was started by Rachel so Talbert on Check in the Mirror here on YouTube. And she has just a fun channel. She's very bubbly and just, just fun to watch. And um, I saw that she did this tag and I really wanted to do it myself. Um, it was kind of hard trying to find like five products that I wouldn't, um, that I couldn't live without if they discontinued it and I would like shed a tear. But I just found products that I use almost every day and then I realized, oh my gosh, you know, I just asked myself what products would affect how I either do my hair or do like my makeup or whatever or skincare that is just like, oh. But I think I found the five that definitely I would cry if they discontinued it. Um, I'm going to start off with the Alpha G Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor, which looks like this. Um, it's a light protein um, conditioner. That's how it reacts with my hair. And I'm on a hair journey, and those of you who are also on a hair journey know that, you know, you try a lot of products. Um, a lot of them don't work. A few of them do, and then you just keep with it. This is the product that I have used from the very start of my hair journey in 2010 and I still use now. I love it, love it so, so much. I believe definitely has gotten my hair to start growing and grow at, at an even rate. It's my hair is so much stronger now. Um, I just, just love it so much and I really think it's all to this product. So if they ever discontinue this, I don't know what I would do with like it's such an important part of my hair journey I, I, I definitely would shed a few tears but you can buy this at your local Sally's online at their website afg.com and probably any basic beauty supply store so I would definitely look for it try it out um, I don't leave it on for any more than five minutes and it just even though it's a light protein it's strengthening your hair it will leave my hair pretty soft afterwards so I really like that the next thing is my number seven beautifully balanced purifying toner and I have a video on this um, whole skincare line the beautifully balanced and like I was saying in that video I really really love this toner it's very light it's very gentle it's not like an astringent where it's gonna dry your face and irritate it because I have acne and I try to find things that are you know gentle but effective and this is definitely that for me it's gentle but effective and I like it because it's made for oily skin and it's really like this whole line but I love this the most has like definitely cut down my oil production and like I said in that video definitely if you're oily skin I would try out this line try out this toner try out everything that they have for the beautifully balanced because this uh I love this toner so much. It's just a really nice pick me up in the morning. It's just cool. Cools and refreshes. It's just really, really nice. And I would definitely shed a few tears if they were like, oh, no more beautifully balanced. The next thing that I totally love is this number seven um, truly translucent. Is that what it's called? Yeah, trans translucent perfect light powder. And I love this so much. It comes with a cute little pump and it's just a regular translucent powder but what I really love about this powder is that I don't know if other people have this problem but I've tried other translucent powders and they say they're translucent but they're not really and they leave like a chalky kind of ashy film on your face and it's just like well what's the whole point of it being translucent if I can still see it. This is a truly translucent powder. Um, I love it because it helps my makeup stay. It doesn't matter what type of foundation I use, whether I use like an e.l.f. foundation or the number 7 foundation which is um, my best quality uh, foundation. It just helps it Stay really powder. well. It just helps it fade away gracefully and that, you know, it doesn't look like totally terrible at the end of the day, you know. It's like, I'll be a little shiny or whatever, but it's not like, I'm not a total grease ball is what I'm saying. So I really love that about this powder. It's very light. Like I said, it's truly translucent, so it's not going to show up on your face or anything like that afterwards. And I really, really love this powder. I'm happy that I found it because, um, I used to love the Sally Henson 
you know, natural skincare line uh, powder, but then they discontinued that. So I had to find something just as good, and I found this, and I love, love, love it. And I might have to start a riot if they ever discontinued this thing. Um, the next thing I would cry if they discontinued it is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I love this stuff because this stuff just keeps everything in place, whether it's eyeliner, eyeshadows, whatever. It will stay. Um, I once wore this, uh, used this to prime my lids when I went to Tennessee for my job. That is a 14, 15 hour work day. And at the end of the day, my eyeshadow was still looking like amazing all my co-workers were like dang you know I can't even get like my eyeliner to stay on for an hour let alone 15 hours so I really 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 loved it truly worth it this little tube and um I just bought my second one and I've had um this is my original one. I think I've had it for almost a year now. I really don't know if eyeshadow primers go bad uh, because you just need like a teeny, teeny, teeny amount, which I, another thing I love about this, you only need maybe like a little bit bigger than a pinhead amount for um, both your eyelids and just to make everything stay. And another thing I like this is it blends away to match your skin tone. Other eyeshadow primers that I have um, won't blend away so it looks like a tan kind of thing. So. If I just want to wear eyeliner with those other eyeshadow primers, it wouldn't really work because my eyelids would be this weird color. But this, um, it blends into your skin seamlessly, and I really love that about that. So definitely a must-have, and I would cry a lot because I have oily skin, and nothing stays on there. Even if it says, you know, an eyeshadow is for oily skin, it, my eyelids will be like, ha, and it will be sliding down my face. This is like fight back to my oily lids and it just helps everything to stay and I love it. The last thing I will cry if they discontinued it is my cute little EOS lip balm. Their whole line is just amazing. The EOS, I bought the lotion, I really want to buy the hand cream. I haven't brought the, I haven't tried like the shaving cream because I don't, well I do shave but I don't use shaving cream, I just use Nair. But this little thing is so cute it's like a little egg and I love all the different like scents that they have this is sweet mint but um, I have one of these like almost everywhere so no matter where I go I'll have it I have this one it's the one for my bathroom I have one for my purse I have one in my makeup bag I think I have one in my book bag that I actually need to throw away because it's dry but I love it so much it leaves my lips really really smooth if I want to wear like a lipstick or a lip gloss over my lips it just goes on so nice um it lasts pretty long for a lip balm i don't have to reapply it too often maybe every couple of hours some lip balms chapsticks whatever i've tried you know every couple of minutes especially during the winter um but this is a really really good product i just love how it makes my lips so smooth the smoothest lasts really really long I really don't know how long but just a good amount and um, it works really well if I want to wear like a lipstick or a lip gloss afterwards because it just goes on so smooth my little ridges and lines on my lips are just been smoothed out by this thing and uh, I love it love it so much and they smell really good too I love things that smell really good so this is definitely something to try out but I think that will complete my five things I would cry if they discontinued. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag video. If you want to film your own and leave it as a video response, so go right ahead. I'd love to see what things that you can't live without. It's always fun to see things that other people, you know, can't live without because um, sometimes you might see something like, oh my gosh, I love that too, or that's what you can't live without. You know, it's just always fun and interesting to see. Uh, the things that people love and really cherish, uh, you know, in their lives and whatnot. I want to thank Rachel Talbert for starting this tag, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!